the live on YouTube, we will be coming back to the VIP members on Zoom. Right here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. For some reason, my Connection is a bit slow today. Let's take our time and find the right setup. We want to have yet another winning day. Okay. All right, let's quickly have a look at um, the pairs before us. This is um, pound JPY. It's been pushing up powerfully. It's been pushing up powerfully. You know, it took a little, it took a little break here. It seems like it wants to continue. Let's look at, that's if this is the 15 minute time frame. Let's look at the daily time frame. So that's what's going on there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it wants to continue pushing up. So how do we trade this? Let's just sort out how to trade this. So that was the close of yesterday. Let's go to other time frames. Let's go to the four hourly. Okay. So, so far today, let's go back to the daily. Let's see how, how far, how much pips it has given today. So it's, ooh, it's done over 130 pips today. That's huge. That's huge. So is it gonna do more? Is it gonna be giving us more pips? I'm sure we can get some pips going one way or the other. Okay, so at a glance, we can see it's um, the momentum is to the upside. So what we will do is we'll basically just look at um, a few a few other pairs quickly to see the best setup that we have. So we don't um, take the first one we see. Right, right, right. So that's the, this is the 15 minute. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to, um, let's try gold. Let's try gold. Let's go to the daily. Let's go to the daily. Okay, that's what we see there. So we see gold has been pushing up as well. Gold has been pushing up beautifully as well. It's um, 
it's pulled back in the last couple of days, you know, to this area, and it's um, seems like it wants to continue its journey up as well. But we're not going to so much act on what we see on the daily only. We're going to check other time frames. You know, like I did say, you know, when we come for the London session like this, what I want to focus on now is some scalp trades. I mean, if we do find day trades, proper day, well, proper setup for day trades, we will take them. But um, so we're not just here for, for, you know, for nothing. You know, we'll focus on scalp trades anywhere between, you know, 10 to 20 pips. Yes, for me, 20 pips is scalping as well. <laughs> it is scalping as well. So let's... Um, Okay, so let's check the 15 minutes. Only the best setups would do for us, only the best. That's how we win. We win by waiting patiently for the best setups. It doesn't mean we don't lose. Obviously, we do lose some as well. However, we want it to be that we are winning more than we lose. Okay. right here so how about this one this is gold okay you know i want something that we can take comfortably so that's not quite ready let's try gu let's try gu the good old pound usd Let's have a look at GU. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. G U G U G U. Okay. You know what, we are gonna to have to look at indices as well today, guys. We're gonna look at indices as well. You know, I, I, I posted some, um, some of my trades yesterday on NASDAQ 100. It was good, brilliant, brilliant, it delivered beautifully for me so 
maybe I would have a look at it. I mean, I usually prefer to trade the DAX, you know, but um, I just thought I would look at NASDAQ yesterday and it was awesome. Okay. Let's look at the daily. Okay, so this one is uh, pushing up as well. How far has it gone today? It has done, oh, just about 30 pips. That's not much for GU. That's disappointing, GU. Come on. How could you? Maybe it's been waiting for us to come in first. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I mean this this is going to be pushing up some more. Let's check other time frames. Mm. Okay, I think it's going to be on the contrary going down. We'll just um, stick this here. For me, if it comes back breaking below here, I'll be looking to sell. I mean, overall, it's a bullish, a bullish, it's still bullish, but you know, for the short term, I'll be looking to sell. After all, we are looking to day trade, isn't it? We are looking to day trade. So, sorry, not day trade. We are looking to scalp. So basically, I would be looking for a quick push to the downside. We have not entered any trade yet. That's okay. Okay, so we've looked at GU. You know, my bias is um, a quick sell. I'm looking for a quick sell on this one. Unless, of course, if it keeps pushing up like that. I mean, it's still got about 20 pips to this high. You know, if I have to wait for it to get to the previous high, you know, uh, before pushing down, I'll do that as well. But my bias is to the downside. Okay, so G, G, J. I mean, this one has, this one has really moved. You know, none of the pairs are quite ready yet, guys. None of the pairs are quite ready. Let's try Euro, Aussie dollar. We love to trade that as well. Euro, Aussie dollar. And then we'll begin to look at the indices. Euro, Aussie, dollar. Ooh, okay. It's quite some push. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Okay, see what's been going on in the last couple of days. It's been ranging in this area. 
about a hundred people range. Okay, let's try other time frames. Yeah, so it's obvious as well, even on the four hour that it's been ranging. So what we want to look for now is a possible entry. So basically we want to see it break. We want to see it break out of the short term range. So for now, the range is like between here So that's the daily range between here and here, which is like a hundred pip range, you know, but you can see, you can see it's um, just gone past the middle of the range. You know, so is it gonna get up there or is it gonna reject and come back down? That's what we'll need to find out on a lower time frame. This is the 15 minute time frame. I would have preferred to trade it run about the bottom of that range. You know, when, when, when the price is ranging, what you want to do really is to look for a trade when it's like at the bottom or at the top. When it's just like in the middle, it's like no man's land. So what if it's here you buy and it goes down? At least if it's at the bottom here and you buy, even if it goes down against you, you know, you can have a, a quick, a, a small stop loss. So also at the top, but when it's in the middle like this or close to the middle, you want to stay on the sidelines as it were. You want to be on the sidelines. Hi, Victor, I've just sent you a message on Telegram. Okay, guys, let me, um, so we can't do much with that one just yet. Okay, let's have a look at um, the indices. Let's try DAX, the German DAX. <coughs> Let's have a look at DAX. Okay. Right, yo. Sorry guys, a bit of distraction in my background. Just one minute.
Right, right, right. Okay, so I mean, basically, I mean, um, the price is not where we'd want it. I mean, I know, I mean, um, some might be taking some trades at this time, but but you know, you know, you know what it is like. You know, we have different strategies because I know, I am saying that because I know I have, um, I know different trading strategies, but we want to stick to what we know would surely or most likely win as opposed to just um, taking the chance. You know, if you want to be a profitable Forex trader, you don't just take the, take the chance because it looks good. You want to take it at the optimal price as it were. You know, so it's a waiting game for us at the moment. I mean, yesterday's session, guys, obviously, you know, we just got in the trade. We, we, we came on live and it was boom, boom, boom. We got some trades and we were done. You know, but it's not like that all the time. It's not like that all the time. Okay, so with this trade at the moment, you know, like I said, you know, um, the price is in the, like more or less in the middle of the range, the daily range. So if you were to get in here now, anticipating that the price will get there, yes, it could get there, you know, but then where would you place your stop loss? Are you okay with the stop loss? That, that would be like a one-to-one. -one. If you were to enter here now, believing, that it will get there for 25 pips. The best place to have your stop loss is kind of like here, which means you're not even getting one to one really. If you were to place your stop loss there, if you were to place your stop loss here, you won't even get a one to one. So the best place to have entered this trade would have been here. In that case, if you entered there, stop loss here, about 16 pips for, well, almost 40 pips. So that would have been a lot better. But where it is now, it's a risk. I don't take such risks. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't take that risk. Okay. So this is um, Euro AUD. Pound USD, the DAX, this is um, GJ, good old GJ, let's try 30 minutes. Okay, I mean, really, with GJ, whoops, even though GJ seemed to have done almost 140 p about 140 pips today, it can still go higher. I'm not quite sure what was pushing GJ. Let's see. Um, 
it can go as high as this. It can do another 50 today, really. It can do another 50 today. Wow. Look at that long candle. Super long candle. Yeah, it's done about uh, almost 140 pips. You know what, let's, um, let's do this one minute. So will GJ do like 180 pips today? Okay, so I mean, obviously, you know, um, for those who are not part of our Telegram group yet, guys, I encourage you to join our Telegram group, you know, so that um, whenever, you know, we are, especially when we are having a live session like this, you know, if we have to follow on, you know, after the live session, you can definitely still, you know, um, get the signals. We do post some free signals in the Telegram group, especially on days when we have live sessions like this. You know, so what we're looking to do I mean, I'll be here, you know, for some more minutes till about um, nine o'clock. That's in I'll, I'll be here for another um, another ten minutes or so. Okay. Right, right, right. You know me, you know me. We wait for the perfect setup. If there is such a thing as a perfect setup, Yes, yes, yes. So this is um Euro, sorry, this is um Nasdaq 100. Okay, so like we did say, this might push up to the very end, but 
we might not exactly have a good risk to a risk reward unless you want to take the chance and enter here you know to target this area this price area but i personally would not be taking that chance Just, just to note, guys, just to note, I mean, if perhaps like we trade in the mornings, you know, um, together, you know, for the VIP members and, you know, the way it is basically is if you don't get a, a, a trade, if you, if you don't get a trade, you know, like in the mornings or when you normally trade, if because you think the price has moved, guess what? There is such a thing as a pullback there's such a thing as a pullback or a pause in that move before it either continues or it reverses you know so that's what to do so for me when i see that the price has moved in the morning what do i do i just wait for a pullback because i know it's most likely going to continue or it's going to reverse so if this pushes all the way there now, I know that later on it might continue because looking at the one hour time frame, we see looking at the one hour time frame, we see that the price, sorry, the daily time frame, we see that the price has been ranging, you know, kind of like, you know, like so one, two, three, four, five days maybe six, five days at least. And that has been the high. So it might only get that far and then come back down. Or maybe it's gonna break above this time. As a matter of fact, let's check the weekly. Let's check the weekly just for the sake of it. Ah, okay. Looking at the weekly now, it does appear that this time round, it's gonna break it's going to break so i mean if if you want to enter this make sure you're entering it for the long term <laughs> if you have a big account that allows you trade that would allow you you know um, use a, a, a big stop loss then you can enter for you know um you can enter as a long-term trade but just know that your stop loss is going to be at least 100 pips. You know, if you want to play it safe, really. So I believe this is going to go up. What I am going to be doing, I might take it on my own, on one of my accounts, you know, for a, as a long-term trade. But really, there's no point, for, there's no need for that. To be honest with you, there is no need. I wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I have not got time for such at the moment. I want trade. I mean, the last couple of weeks have just been brilliant, you know, trading with the VIP members, you know. So I want to maintain that, that winning streak. I would like to maintain that winning streak. You know, you know, guys, what it is, is, you know, when it comes to trading, you know, sadly, it's, um, it's, um, some will lose and some would win. I want to, I don't want to be on the, on the losing side. That's why I take my time and wait for the perfect setups. That's why I take my time for the perfect setup.
gratio. So none of the trades are ripe for the taking, really. None of them, none of them. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. It's um, it's a zero sum game. So, so what I am saying, guys, basically, what I'm saying basically is that, as a trader, you want to get to a point where you are always withdrawing. <laughs> you are, you are, you don't, you're not depositing all the time. You are withdrawing, not topping up your account because you lost or you you've blown it. You want to get to a point where you are always withdrawing. You want to be on the withdrawing side. And one of the ways I have achieved that is to be patient. You know, it's, it's okay not to trade in a particular day, on, on a particular day. If, if, if perhaps you trade a particular session, say the London session like myself, and you come there and there is no trade, just walk away. If you have time, come again later on in the day, you know, but not to force the trade as it were. Not to force the trade. Right, right, right. Okay, so is is um, GJ gonna begin to come back a bit, pull back a bit? That's what we're wanting. We're wanting a bit of a pullback. Are we getting the pullback now? Are we getting the pullback?
you know, note that we did say that GJ has really pushed up today. Ah, okay, it's dropping, dropping by about 20 pips, dropping by about 20 pips. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, okay. You know, I told you, you know, my buyers on um, pound JP, sorry, pound USD is a sell, is bearish. You know, it seemed as they was pushing up a while ago. But it seems to be coming back down. So run about here, we'll see how the price performs here, what it does here. And we would, you know, decide what to do. If this one breaks below this dotted line well, properly, I'll be looking to sell. That's my bias on that one. I'll be looking to sell. You know, we've come to the end of the month. Interesting. Just like that. It's been a good year so far, you know, as for me as a trader. You know, I did say that I, I do want to you know, within the next 12 months, well, it's, it's the third month now, but at the beginning of February or so, I did say within the first, the, within the, the 12 months, a 12 month period. So in a sense, between February this year and next year, I want to have, um, you know, introduced about a thousand people to trade in and bring them to profitability. Now, that is a high, a high, um, a tall order. You know, obviously, like they say, you have to set the goals high. <laughs> you have to set the goals high so that if you miss, well, yes, at least you know the goal was high, as opposed to setting a, a very low goal target for yourself and hitting it. You want to hit your target, yes, but it's good to set a high, you know, a, a big goal as it were. That would give you the push. That should give you the push. It shouldn't discourage you. So I'm still you know, on track to introducing a thousand people you know, to trading and teaching them how to become profitable. You know, our strategies are very simple, very simple, but you have to be disciplined you know, with regards to following those strategies. It takes discipline. So we are watching this GU. Uh, okay, so the, um, the Euro Aussie dollar is, almost hitting our 
points there. The DAX could be making, doing a rejection. Let's try the five minute. Yeah, so GU seems like what's going to be the best trade for today. So let me begin to set up my my position box. Let's bring out the position box. Okay, so that's where that's how I'm going to be looking for this trade to move. Let's just check this again. Okay. So I'm just looking at the, the hard time frame now to check out what we have in front of us. to see if it's a quick scalp we'll be looking for, or if it's uh, like a proper day trade. So we'll wait for that 15 minute candle to close and let's see. We'll wait to see what happens with this 15 minute candle. You know, my bias is to the downside. You know, at least the 20 pip stop loss or thereabouts. You know, which which is a risk reward of um, one well, one point five R, one point five R, or if you like, one to one point five. Let's see how this closes. Let's see how that one closes.
So we have not entered yet. Hence my position box is not next to, it's not next to um, the price. Okay. Okay, I think this one is um I think this one is ready to go, guys. This is DAX. Let's just quickly have a quick a one more one more look at the higher time frame. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky one. So I'm not gonna be suckered into any trade. I mean, if you want to take this one, it's gonna be like a quick one-to-one, -one, a quick one-to-one -one sell. Yeah, some tricky, tricky setups, which we are not gonna fall for. Okay, so even this GU, the way that that previous candle has closed, I'm not quite liking it. So we are still gonna wait for the price to close below this dotted line. Yeah, that's that's what to do. You see, it's always good to wait for the close of a candle. Okay, so I mean, it's been a waiting, waiting game today. You know, but I, I, I do believe this um, GU definitely wants to drop.
Right, right, right. So that would be, it would be good if it, if it drops for us, that would be for all our troubles, <laughs> all our patience. Right, right, right. Okay, looking good, looking good. Come on now, keep on going. Keep on going, GU. You see, with this setup, I can afford to going, I can afford to go all in because for me, it's a near, it's a perfect setup. You know, if this closes, you know, even if it closes on that line, you know, it's a, a perfect setup for me. So I'll go all in. for at least, at least 15 pips, at least 15 pips. Hello, Kibitz. Hello, guys, over there on YouTube. Give us a like. Kibitz, Kibitz Entertainment. Are you part of the Telegram group? Join our Telegram group and say hello to me there. Yes, I agree with you. GU is looking to drop. Okay, you say sales on weekly. Let's have a look at the weekly. Oh, look at that. I don't want it to drop so far down, though. We don't want to be having a big stop loss. All right, let's quickly check the weekly. Weekly? <laughs> That's long term, mate. Long term. Let's check it. Let's check the weekly. Let's check the weekly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, on the weekly though, I think it's it might go up a bit more, but then we're not so much focusing on the long term. We are wanting some quick trades. Looking at the weekly, it appears as though it would go up a bit more. Coming back to the daily, we begin to see a clearer picture. It wants to go down a bit before it goes up. Because overall, it, it is still bullish, really. There's no clear sign yet that it wants to, it, it's reversing, if you like. So it's still bullish to me overall. Now, 
I hope this thing does not keep dropping and make us, uh, I mean, if I cannot get a one-to-one -one on this trade, I won't even bother getting in. So hopefully, hopefully to pull back up at least a bit. Hopefully to pull back up a bit. Yeah, so let's let's do this. Let's mark it up here. So even if it comes, so basically anywhere, anywhere, if it closes anywhere in anywhere inside that little um, space, that zone between the two dotted lines, that would be for me a good a good price at which to get in. So we've got six minutes to wait on this one. Six minutes, guys. If if we if it doesn't um, play out the way we want, I'll be finishing anyway in about six. Let's put it this way: I'll finish in about six minutes. I'll be closing the stream, the live, the YouTube stream, at nine thirty UK time. Okay, come on now. No, don't go too far down. <laughs> don't go too far down. That's not the way we want it. That's not the way we want it.
Okay, any which way it goes, we are okay with that. Okay, so I'm selling this now, guys. I'm selling this here. I'm selling pound USD. I'm selling it now. I'm having my stop loss there. Sell pound USD. I'm selling pound USD now. Okay, so I've just sold pound USD, guys. I'll tell you where I'll place my stop loss. Kind of like close to where we entered there. Um, just one minute, let me enter the trade myself. <laughs> Let me enter the trade myself. Come on now, where is GU here? Okay, fine, brilliant. We are, we are in. Okay, so that's where we enter the trade. We take this off, we enter the trade here. Let's move this here. We'll place our stop loss here. And we'll be targeting here. So overall is at least almost one to two risk reward. Um, the TP1, TP1 is like, you know, like I did say, we are looking to scalp really. So we're looking at TP1 of about 10, 10 pips, you, you take partial profits and move your stop loss to break even. Okay, so TP1 is gonna be run about there. Let's move this closer. So we are in the trade now. And TP2 be here. Let's put it here. So, I mean, there's no news today that might likely affect the trade. Let's see, at least there's no announced news. There's no news that has been announced. I mean, there is this um, pending home sales. Hopefully it wouldn't, um, we, would get, we would get our TP before then. That's like um, three o'clock. UK time, if you like. So everything else should be fine. So that's the trade we are in. We will basically see how it plays out. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have my stop loss there. Let me see. That that's kind of like huge. Twenty five pips. Twenty five pips for. That would be like a one to one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I would move it up slightly, guys, you know, so that um, we know we are going for at least one to one. It's a, a good setup, so you can be rest assured, you know. Um, we just want to give the trade room to move. As a matter of fact, what I'll be doing, when the trade gets here, I'll most likely be taking another entry so that I have two positions there. I'll take another entry here, which would be a better entry, which would be, you know, um, an even better entry with this strategy. Just note that Yeah. So that's the trade will basically let it play out. Let's put that there. So this is the trade we're in now. 
GU cells. So I'm going to post this in the um, I'm going to post it in the Telegram group. I'm going to post this in the Telegram group for everyone to know with the trades we took. Let's copy this and post it in the Telegram group. So if you're not part of the Telegram group, guys, do join us there. Okay. Okay, so guys, you know, I'm um, done for today. You know, I'm on, on YouTube live. I'm gonna join, you know, um, the team now on Zoom. So guys, you know, we, we do try to be on here at least once a week. I mean, usually Tuesdays, you know, but um, it's been, you know, a bit of a, um, I've not been able to, I, I wasn't able to make it this Tuesday for circumstances beyond my control. Hence, we are trading today. But hopefully this will, this will play out well. So the way I would advise you to trade it, you know, when price gets to TP1, which is here, when price gets to TP1, take partial profits, you know, um, depending on how many pips or how many positions you took and move your stop loss to break even. Move your stop loss to break even, or perhaps you might want to close everything. So I'll leave it there, guys, and um, catch you next week. So what to do is the only way you're going to know when I'm trading is if you're part of the Telegram group. You know, I usually would announce you know some days before or a day before to tell you I'll be live on a on a set time. Okay, catch you, catch you, catch you. <laughs>